In order to maintain the health of the after-treatment system on the engine, sometimes automatic regens will take place. You'll see these icons pop up indicating the engine is doing an automatic regen in the background. The engine can function completely as normal during this and no operator input is required. Under extended low load situations, the after treatment on the engine can become clogged with soot. And in this case, the engine will send a stationary regeneration request to the operator and then this fault code, P1421. When this happens, you must acknowledge and then it will ask you to prepare for stationary regen. In order to prepare for stationary regen, certain conditions need to be met, one of which is that the speed needs to be set to the slow speed and not the high speed. If this is not done, then when you hit yes, the machine, the panel will ask you to bring the machine low idle speed and confirm the interlocks. At this point, if you're still at a high speed, it will ask you once again if you're ready. It will wait for the stationary to start, and then this error message will pop up. So in order for the stationary regen to start, these parameters need to be met. The coolant temperature must be greater than 60 degrees Celsius, and the engine has to have run for over 15 minutes. And then the engine must be at idle speed. So if we lower the engine down to idle speed and then start the stationary regen, a successful stationary regen can take place. If the engine requests a stationary regen and for some reason you're in the middle of a job and you're not able to do the regen, you can acknowledge and instead of preparing for the regen, say no to finish what you're doing. At some point, you will need to perform the stationary regen, otherwise the after treatment on the engine will become clogged and the engine will derate and render itself useless. One of the parameters with regards to regeneration that can be modified with the panel is either allowing regeneration or inhibiting regeneration. And this parameter has to do with automatic regen that's taking place in the background. In general, the panel should not be set to inhibiting regeneration. If the regeneration has been inhibited by someone, you'll see this icon displayed in the lower corner. In order to allow the regeneration, go back into the regeneration menu and then arrow over to allow. Once you've inhibited the regen and finished your job and you're ready to perform the regen, you can simply press the regen button and then go through the normal regen process by lowering engine speed to idle and then starting the stationary regen. Once you start the stationary regen, the ECU will take control of engine speed and drop engine speed to 800 RPM and then ramp it up to 2200 RPM for about 30 minutes. Once the regen is complete, a screen will pop up acknowledging that the regen is complete. Acknowledge, and then now the engine is like new. When an engine is in for service, you might need to perform a manual stationary regen. In order to do this, enter the setting menu, arrow down to regeneration, and then regeneration start. This will start the process of cleaning the after treatment on the engine similar to a stationary regen by request. Once you're ready to begin, hit yes. Ensure that the engine is at idle speed and then this process will take about 30 minutes to complete. When it is complete, the panel will tell you stationary regen complete and you can acknowledge and then use the machine as usual. If you're trying to perform a manual stationary regen and the engine has less than 50 hours, this dialog will display. Before you can perform your next manual stationary regen, the engine must acquire 50 or more hours.